So let's do it. to realise that my problem with Helen was a kind of self-hate, I think, sort of low self-esteem. Uh, it was as if any woman who would want to go out with me, by definition, couldn't be worth much. It was as if, how would you put it, it was as if I wouldn't want to belong to any club that would have me as a member. I did this gig in Norwich, and after the gig, I was in the cafe, and a man came up to me with a beard, and he asked me very politely, and a very dulcet voice, did I have a light? I said, no, we went our different ways. And then, uh, a bit later, a couple of the lighting guys came in, they said, ah, oh, special case in today, and he's like the local nutter. And they pointed, and of course, it's the same guy, only this time, he's not, uh, you know, he's going, oh, God, <laughs> And because he'd been so compassmentous when he asked me for the light, I suddenly realised that when you see street crazies gnashing and wailing, they're not wrestling with the foul fiend that haunts him. Just with self-consciousness, you know, with social embarrassment. He knew he was about to shout something out and he was just terribly embarrassed by this. Oh, God, I just know I'm going to shout something out soon. I just know <laughs> I just can't feel that's going to be so embarrassing. It's personal! <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult myself to come back to so humiliating. I mean, luckily, it was monosyllabic. People might just think I was coughing, you know. Hopefully, I've got away with it. Slug! <laughs> Slug! <laughs> There goes that theory. Oh, dear. It's so rude. I can't believe I said that. I mean, it's, it's humiliating. I mean, at least I haven't started barking. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there goes that theory. I mean, oh, dear, that takes the biscuit. Barking. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe I did that. That was so rude. I, I really... I, you mustn't think that I'm the sort of person that does usually bark at people. Oh, God, and, and spitting as well. I've, I've spat. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I really must try now very hard not to attract attention to myself, and above all, I must not, must not start to do inept kung fu shadow boxing. as well. I must show the lads that uh, I'm reliant on their good graces and I'm not being aggressive, really. <laughs> 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 if they give me the kicking I so richly deserve at this point, there isn't a court in the land that will convict them. And I thought the long slide special case was on down to the bin and out the other side, starting from the days when he still had even a girlfriend. I'm just feeling really insecure at the moment. It's a very difficult time for me right now. I just need someone to reassure me and 
tell me I'm a worthwhile person? I think I know the kind of thing you want me to say. Slow! <laughs> well, that wasn't it, was it? I, I, forgive me, darling. I can't believe I said that. I, I just can't believe I said it. I mean, I just want you to know that I am here for you. Oh! oh God, I, I can't believe I said that. that, that just, I mean, that wasn't very supportive, was it? I mean, I know it wasn't. You absolute <laughs> prostitute! <laughs> I can't believe I said that. And I thought of how he'd lose his job and he'd have to get a menial job and then he'd lose even that. Oh, no, no, I, I must not throw my boss's hat out the window. I'll have to go all the way down and get it. it, it it's, it's four flights down and I've got a heart condition. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I mean, what did I just say? Oh, Hopefully now I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh, what did I just say? Oh, God. It's <laughs> <laughs> an app. Hey, on this job, no one refers to each other by their real name. You, you're Mr. Green. You, you're Mr. Red. You, you're Mr. Mo. You, you're Mr. Wobbly Tickle. <laughs> you, you're Mr. Hey, Gray. Hey, hey, Joe, you... why do I have to be Mr. Wobbly Tickle? Wobbly Tickle, it sounds silly. Why can't I be Mr. Black? Let's go to work. Someone set us up! One of you guys here is not a regular guy. Someone's different. <laughs> We're just gonna find out who it is. Well, I reckon it was Mr. Mauve. He don't look right. At least I'm a goddamn f***ing professional. At least when the bullets started flying, I didn't start going, wobbly-doo. What is it with this wobbly-doo, wobbly f***ing wobbly day crap, anyway? Hey, don't badmouth Mr. Wobbly Tickle, okay? Whenever I'm involved in any kind of minor mishap that had to be solved in a light-hearted manner involving the use of a wobble and or tickle, E.g. some fruit being wobbled and or tickled from a tree. I always knew I could rely on this guy. Like the song says, when you're in the dumps, here comes Mr. Bump. But when you're in a pickle, call Mr. Wobbly Tickle. Oh, God, my goddamn like! Should help pay for your dialysis machine. Good evening and welcome to History Today. We continue this evening with the subject of the Enclosures Act and its effect on the English rural population, as it would appear. There are those who feel that last week, myself and Professor Lewis didn't quite make the inroads into the subject that perhaps we might. So I wonder, Professor Lewis, whether you would agree with the Marxist that the Enclosures Act forms the point at which government first effectively becomes state. <laughs> See that. <laughs> I have observed the image. That's you in your latest clothes, that is. <laughs> That's you trying your best to be really with it. <laughs> That's what you wear when you're out on the pull. 
See that? I have observed the slide. That's your gang, that is. <laughs> That's you with your hard mates. <laughs> Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> See that? Yes. That's the man who works inside your pants. <laughs> See that? I have observed it. That's your most successful barbecue ever. <laughs> That's like the biggest single gathering of all your friends in the whole world. See that? I have observed the woman. That's someone who you've just told your funniest joke. <laughs> Tell it to me again, Professor Lewis. <laughs> Do. See that? Yes. That's your prostate gland. <laughs> I haven't got a prostate gland. Yes, that's why it's in that warehouse. <laughs> See that. Do you mean the boyish figure in between the two girls? Yes. I have observed the Fauntleroyish figure. You've lost a fight to him. <laughs> He's staring you out right now. <laughs> you can't look him in the eye. <laughs> Go on, stare at him. You can't. See that? Yes. That's you having your best ever snog. <laughs> well, your bird never told you she was with me. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone can be in any doubt that tonight myself and Professor Lewis have had the most rigorous of debates. Professor Lewis, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Well, they don't want me shouting and barking as much as I want here. I'm completely safe at last. I just mustn't up the ante. Ooh. Oh, what have I done? I had to push it. I can't believe I did that. Well, I can't blame them for their response. Lord knows that the district of this place is difficult enough without being made ten times worse by a violent resident. <laughs> A night to remember for Larry Sanders, next on BBC Two.